Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Reddit State. Well, we've got a couple of interesting decisions ahead of us right now due to the last mission not going so well and leaving us at a point that our uh, finances are a little underwhelming. Uh, we're also having some kind of growing pains with our roster. Um, this is uh, you know an interesting conundrum to be in, but I'm waiting for the cove to get unlocked, like it should be later this week. I think we're going to go ahead and persevere with uh, our current save file for that. And so I don't want to get these guys like too far ahead. I'm hesitant to take out, you know, like this group of level twos um, because they'll very quickly become level threes and not be able to uh, go on any of the uh, short or whatever apprentice missions that we start getting unlocked here. So I think that really only leaves us with, you know, our level four and few level three guys uh, to try to continue on with them without really leveling up like half of our roster right now while uh, we're just waiting on the cove. Uh, PAX is going on this week and uh, Red Hook has said that the patch will come out shortly after PAX, so I'm hoping next week, but I don't have any inside information on that. In the meantime, I think we're going to do... I, I would like to take on these bosses. However, these are like terrible rewards. The Book of Holiness and the Hero's Ring. So what I think I'm going to do instead is just run a short veteran dungeon hopefully get a little bit better gold as well, which uh, then maybe I can be a little better supplied when it comes time to take on uh, like maybe the hag or the necromancer. So with that in mind, I think I'm gonna grab these two guys and gals uh, as they are both level three and then maybe like him and then him it's kind of a okay party i think i think that should be fine the first two we gotta yeah we'll, we'll give that a shot it's just gonna be a short mission so i'm not too worried about supplies i also don't have a whole lot of gold to be worried about supplies so with a shovel we're going into the wield maybe with a two shovel We'll go with that. Like, this is the bare minimum of things that you would really want to bring out, right? Um, probably stand to do, like, one of everything but holy water. I don't think holy water has much of a place in the wield. So, yeah. I'm pressing the embark button. I'm closing my eyes and gonna do it. Hopefully, uh, this doesn't come back to haunt me. I don't see how this could go catastrophically wrong. Um, it's just, I, mean, I really blame a lot of the, uh, the the current problems with our estate on the fact that uh, we're kind of holding out for the cove. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. And that's meant some interesting choices when it comes to the roster. Uh, now, we uh, we do have a fairly straightforward path here. Just one long winding road. I guess that's pretty good, actually. There's, there's not going to be backtracking. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. We'll easily explore 90% of the rooms without having to worry about it too much. Uh, I don't really have... Everyone's just 50% trap, except for our Crusader here. Actually... Yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Get up to here, go ahead and pop a torch. Uh, let's see. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rooms. We're gonna have to skip it one time. Why not make it when we're fresh? The scout's nice. Not going to say no to that. And I think maybe I'll push up to like the point 
where the fight is going to start. We'll have it at you know, 50 stress here, surprise. Uh, let's see what. We'll go ahead and use one torch here. Um, I guess I, I might be able to just count on finding a torch. Uh, that's not unheard of in the wield, considering um, the number of them that are just kind of on the path. I would really like this guy to be dead before anything happens here. Um, um, you know what? Why not? Uh, he resisted, of course. Just need three more damage. I just needed three more damage. Can you do anything to the front? Two to three? I can do two. That has been a huge waste of effort. Confidence surges all things considered, crumbles. to actually get that guy dead. Alright. Let's try for a stun here. Awesome. And follow it up with... Seven damage. Okay. Hmm... Not the most amazing fight in the world, eh? But we have taken no damage thus far. I really can't complain about that too badly. You're you're not gonna be able to do much of anything. Uh why not? Hmm. 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 80% Blight Resist uh, doesn't exactly sound great. That's basically all I do. Press this advantage. So let's go ahead and clear. No get these guys. Ooh. Get these guys well within range of both of us. Man, really? Four? Okay. Yes, it is healing time. One. Okay. I don't really expect Noxious Blast to come in particularly handy during this fight. How quickly the tide Jeez. turns. Eh. I guess these guys do have 50% protection. That kind of makes sense. Uh, can't do a kill with that. We'll try it there. Finally got him down. Faint hope blossoms. Man. These guys were not joking around. That is a, a nice 12 damage, though. Some. Like, one critical heal would probably put me back in fairly decent position. Ugh. I guess these guys are just, uh. designed to be combated with bleed. A Houndmaster is probably right at home in this particular zone. Uh, where so many enemies resist the Blight, but would take pretty easy bleed damage. Wondering if uh, Grave Robber Houndmaster, if that's a combination that has any synergies whatsoever. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pop the other torch. And just hope we pick up at least one along the way. Um, you know, the Houndmaster can do his bleedy thing, and the, uh, the Grave Robber now has a bleed debuff. Uh, this is bandages. Yeah. Nice. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Sapphires are pretty awesome. So that is good. Uh, this is, at the end of the day, just really a funding trip more than it is anything else. Hoping to have enough gold and resources to be able to take Nature on the next boss. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Contents are mine. I'm uh, not focusing too much on the torchlight as it does burn down slower the lower it gets. So I think I've got enough. There we go. Just as I started to get worried 
an unburned torch. That should basically mean the eight torches are, are totally enough. Wow, we uh, have gotten very, very hungry throughout this. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. But not too many fights, which is nice. Cruel yeah. machinations spring to life. Yeah. With a singular purpose. Worse things could have happened than running into a trap, getting a little bit of stress, and resisting the disease. Worse things like running into a blighted giant man. Okay. Let us see. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Behold the unquenchable fire of the stars. Ah, uh, that would have been big. Okay. Well, all he is doing... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Buff him right away. And then... What is this? Is 70. It's only a 40% chance. But... If I could have done it. If only... Ooh. Right on the round that I have debuffed his uh, protection... That is, of course, going to be when he takes a giant tree branch to the chest. Luckily, that was a pretty decent uh, time. Alright, so... Oh, I was about to finish the sentence as that was a pretty decent time. But, I then got distracted. Um, I've somehow managed to never figure this out until now. Uh, but... The medicinal herbs, they cure debuffs, and I was always like, ah, the enemy doesn't debuff me that much. No, but I debuff myself all the time. So, this turns it into, you know, you have one round where I have minus protection and dodge, and then you just get the three rounds of 27% damage buff at, at no penalty, at a penalty of spending, what, like, 200 gold. I think that's, that's pretty okay. Singular strike. Um, the next time I bring out a Hellion, I'm going to stack up on Medicinal Herbs. That is my plan. Uh, of course we could, we could remove it from him as well. Why not? We're most of the way through this dungeon anyway. Um, he's actually taken a pretty decent amount of damage so far. Finally... Maybe you could do something to actually earn your keep. That'd be real cool. Ugh. Man. Without the uh, protection debuff, it did basically the same amount of damage. What a grievous injury. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'm just gonna swap there and then okay you're dead from that uh, the healing the healing is the thing the bleed is not amazing okay but right now Pusun is basically our biggest hitter by a long shot oh that could be really inconvenient thank you for resisting you're not going to resist that, are you? No, you didn't. You didn't resist that at all. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Alright, you bleed. I am aware. Last turn of your damage buff. Yep. Not too bad, though. Um, very little she can do from this position. Uh, let's go ahead and step back. Please do. Why, when I need that, does that never work out? Oh, uh, it's like the giant, giant waste of that. But, oh well. Oh well. Nice. Uh, not again. Ah, uh, again. Why? Why? That does nothing. Uh, I could shuffle him around when he 
is the only guy left. Um, oh man. We'll just continue to try to heal who's in the leper back here. Fail miserably. And then spend like four turns moving him back to the place he's supposed to be. Ow. Tree branches are bad for you. Really, really bad for you. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. Okay. Not too bad. Man, confusion spore is a lot rougher than I give it credit for. Mostly because his tree branch smackdown that he can do uh, is just so devastating in like the number and you're like clearly that's the most dangerous thing he does but I kind of feel like the the confusion spores are um, they're not just you know a push or a pull they're basically um, I think I'm gonna try for this um, Fusion Spores are basically a party surprise, just kind of coming out of left field. Um, I get Hugh, and then that gets him, yeah. That's what I was hoping for, was that two attacks could kill him and get us some fairly decent damage on another enemy. Of course, we totally squandered any opportunity we may have had there. Okay. Let's try this again. Not quite. Restful incantation. But a hue or a zealous accusation should now kill and get a little damage. Okay. Five isn't exactly amazing. But if we blight you, then we just need a little bit more. Eleven. I can deal with eleven. Wait critical pull. For the slightest lapse in concentration. I feel like on a critical pull, she should end up like over here somewhere, like far to the right of our enemy. Um, I mean, I guess I can disorientingly blast you to do something. Uh, um, yeah, I I didn't want to just swap like. Trying to have the Leper and the Crusader both move forward, they would just trade places for eternity. And passing is generally not what I want, because it uh, builds up a lot of stress. Two? Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and self-heal while we have the opportunity. She's dead from the Blight anyway. Like so. As victory right. Mount, now we did so too will resistance. lose a little unexpected torchlight from that uh, occultist there, who has a nasty tendency to bring it down. Okay. I think we're still going to be okay, though. Uh, I came from nothing, but I will not end with nothing. All right. I'm not going to say no to fifty gold. And final torch. And let's do this. Well, empty room. I can deal with empty rooms. Another curio, just a crate. Okay. Some cress. Pretty light on uh, heirlooms overall for this entire run. Well, and there we go. Scout. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the adventure. Why not? Grab a sack. We got two fights coming up. We'll see how we're doing after the first one. And uh, HP is looking pretty decent, though. Stress. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, not the worst I've ever had it. So uh, I'll probably be okay there. Yeah. Speaking of stress, and the torchlight coming down with it, 
Uh, let's think. 15. Go up to 9. Let's just go ahead with the heal here. And then he's got 12 HP. Decimated. Nice. Easy kill. Not so easy kill. Mm. Nice. Of course, the first time he crit heals would be for himself. Actually, that's that's a lie. He got one earlier. I can't I can't sandbag him that badly. But it does seem a little suspicious that the first time I need you to heal yourself, you're like, yeah, let's let's bust out the good healing. Nice. That was far more effective than I thought it was going to be. Um, and yeah, why not? We'll just put her down. Lovely. Get a little bit of stress resist for finishing Remind the job early. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I will try to remember that. Oh, we do have another blighted giant fight. Lovely. This time with uh, fairly low light and several enemies that reduce it. Okay, artillery for the back. Meh, not amazing. Thank you. Uh, the party reshuffles are something I would kind of like to avoid for this one. We experimented with those the last time and uh, I was not a big fan. No, not a big fan at all. Again, I'm gonna... This is basically the same opening moves. Nice. This time it got the stun though. Because if it works, it works so well. Lovely. Got rid of her. She will die from her blight. Although, it's not going to be fast. Let's go ahead and sack one more level of it. Okay. That uh, leaves her alive for just two turns instead of three. I'll have to be okay with that, as I don't have much of an option. Oh, so good. So, so good. Yes, he is guilty. You can see it in his eyes. All right. Well, this guy stands very little chance, as uh, he... Basically just needs one... Oh man, he resisted the debuff. This is 53. Ugh, that's actually not very good. Uh, one more round like we just had and he would have been dead. I'm thinking probably two more rounds total. Not the worst thing. You've got plenty of HP left. I think you're going to be okay. Oh man. Alright. One round. Everybody focus on the blighted giant... I think that should be plenty to bring him to his knees. I did get the debuff that time, so he's also going to be a lot less dangerous. And there we go. This expedition at least promises success. Heirloom chest. We can use our key. Hidden compartment. Gold, so weak. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Well, thankfully, we didn't have to spend a, an awful lot of blood. Soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. All right, and we're gonna have about twelve thousand gold for our uh, next outing, and that should be pretty nice. And basically, just crests. That's that's what we saw here. All right, and everybody is now level four. And Vane. Get a little bit closer to level 5 than maybe I'd like. Healer's Gift? Meh. Beast Slayer? Meh. Evasive? Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, we do probably want to do a little bit of de-stressing on these guys. Our family name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Okay. Two levels up. And uh, Vapont was the only one de-stressing because he stayed from the week before. I actually find this kind of fitting. Uh, basically, Vapont was having an amazing time and refused to leave the brothel. He stayed there for two whole weeks, and then he came out with a love interest. 
And he now refuses to go anywhere but the brothel. Brothel for uh, de-stressing. Uh, that, seems, that seems rather appropriate. All right. Well, I tell you what, uh, we may have a little bit of city management stuff going on. Uh, these guys didn't end up too, too stressed. Yeah. However, we still have our party from the, uh, the previous adventure that had to retreat. Uh, they could certainly use it. And we'll probably be heading into one of the boss battles for next time. I hope you guys join me for that one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.